Well, recently, police and animal welfare officials in Ohio raided what they believed to be was a large-scale dog fighting ring and rescued hundreds of dogs out of it. As Adrian Bennett reports, three of those dogs are now safe in central Maine. Meet Millie, Good boy. Fred, and Bob. Oh, he's pretty friendly, huh? He's very friendly. Yeah, he's really just a really sweet, sweet dog. But there's nothing friendly about where these dogs came from. Last month, a suspected dog fighting operation in Ohio was broken up. Fred, who is a Patterdale Terrier, and Millie and Bob, pit bulls, were found there. This group in Ohio had boars, they had lizards, they had livestock, chickens. It, it was really just a horrific story from the people that searched the property. As they looked, they would find areas with more dogs chained together. Officials say that more than 500 animals were found at the scene. The three dogs were among about 200 pit bulls on the property. When they found Bob, he was very nearly starved to death. Currently, the United States Humane Society is working with shelters like Kennebec Valley to work with the animals and eventually find them homes. When we met these dogs, they exceeded all expectations. They are very easy to be around. They're handleable. And again, we're still learning about them, but from what we've seen and learned so far, these dogs are very adoptable. Fast money. It's estimated that there are 40,000 people in the U.S. involved in professional dog fighting and more than 100,000 street dog fighters nationwide. And it's no secret that pit bulls oftentimes get a bad rap. They're a breed that can be unpopular in our communities. As you saw with Bob, they're full of love. They're such resilient animals. They just need the chance to show that they can be best friends rather than fighters. Adrian Bennett, WABI TV5 News, Augusta. The Kennebec Valley Humane Society relies on donations to be able to rescue animals. And for more information on donating or on how to adopt a pet, you can log on to PetHavenLane.org.